Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice, and welcome back to another Thrifty Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Brunzeal Holland Rick's Museum 24 count of watercolor pencils. I sourced my pencils from Jerry's Autorama, and I will be sure to include a link in the video description where you can get those if you decide after watching the video that these are something that you would like to add to your art collection. So... Brunzia Holland is a division of Royal Talons. So that company has been in existence since 1948. So this is what I would consider a legacy company. Um, not quite sure how old the Brunzeal division itself is. Um, Royal Talons, or should I say the Brunzeal label itself, um, has a couple of different divisions. They have kids for the ages of two to 12, products for college for 12 to 18, they have a creative studio, or should I say a creatives line, um, and special editions for professionals, and then of course school and office for larger bulk ordering supplies. These particular pencils fall under their special edition, special 10 Dutch Masters. So the Dutch Master range pays homage to, of course, the Dutch Masters, um, watercolor pencil 10, which is Rick's Museum, featuring a beautiful, um, watercolor pencil, I'm assuming, uh, painting of Vincent van Gogh uh, to paying homage to him as a Dutch master, a uh, Dutch master, excuse me. And of course, there are 24 watercolors, I mean, 24 color pen watercolor pencils, Lord help me, um, and a brush that was included when I purchased this. Of course, all of this information was obtained from the Royal Talents website at royaltalents.com. So let's get into the product. The pencils come in a pretty compact tin. As I told you earlier, there is some really nice artwork on the front, pretty bold writing, making it really easy to read. And there's a pretty large um, depiction of what the pencil and the brush looks like on the inside of the tin, with, so you won't have um, any questions about that. Flipping the tin over on the back, um, it gives information in different languages. Uh, basically, 24 watercolor pencils, brush included, pencils that create a watercolor effect. Use like a normal colored pencil, which I tell you guys all the time, and I'll continue to repeat it. You do not have to add water to your watercolor pencils, especially if they do not smudge. They can be used as colored pencils. Oh, oh that's nothing like having a watercolor pencil that won't smudge and has enough pigmentation to serve as a color pencil. I love twofers. Um, a brush dipped in water transforms this into fine watercolor paint. Use thick tex textured paper for the best results. So they do kind of give you a little, uh, a little clue there. Um, Royal Talents, it gives their address, the website, um, and then of course the Facebook emblem from Brazil uh, conforms to ASTM D4236 in US only and made in China. So that's the information on the packaging, for pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> there is no light fast information on the packaging. Let's just start with saying that. Let's open the tin. The tin has a pretty nice closure on it. Won't have any problem in it. It opens pretty easily as well, just by putting it on the corner. Um, the metal that it's made from is kind of lightweight, but it's not flimsy. Uh, that lid is that hole punched lid. So it does open and close pretty easily. The pencils are laid inside one of the black plastic trays. And like pretty much every pencil set I get, that tray is really weak and wobbly. Um, you can take it out. I won't take the pencils out, but you can remove the tray and just use the tin to store the pencils or something else. It is a pretty cool tin. That's pretty much the packaging. Uh, let's take a look at the pencils themselves. Now, right away upon opening the package and looking at the pencils, um, I noticed something <clears throat> caught my attention, stood out to me. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Um, but we are looking at the barrel of the pencil. It's a pretty straightforward pencil. It is hexagonal, so it won't roll away from you um, on your table when you're using it and you lie it down. Um, pretty straightforward uh, silver pencil all the way down to a color swatch that is domed. So unfortunately, you can't see if the lid is exactly centered in that pencil unless you sharpen it. Now, I will say that I think most of the lids were pretty centered. I don't, there were just one or two 
<clears throat> that the sharpening wasn't completely even on, but for the most part, they were pretty centered. Um, the pencil contains the Ricks Museum by Brunzil, and of course, I've added my own numbering system to the pencils. I just numbered them 1 through 24 because unfortunately, the pencils do not contain any color names, um, any stock numbers, or any light fast information no type of numbering system it just simply says the branding and that's it uh, so i did number the pencils one through 24 and labeled it on my color swatch sheet to correspond after i put them in the order that i wanted them so that's pretty much the pigment i mean i'm sorry the physicality of the pencil straight forward let me take a look at my notes and make sure i'm not missing anything because yes i do make notes about these things so uh, the from the research, the pigment is held together by uh, with a little wax and a binder. Um, it, they have a semi-hard lid. It's not soft, <clears throat> but it's not exactly hard. Um, so you can sharpen it pretty sharp, and they're good for detailing. I, I did like them in that aspect when I was using them in dry form. There's a 2.9 millimeter lid. Um, that according to, uh, to the research is double glued and, and they do state that the core cannot break even if you drop it um, and they say that the pencil the core will not break when you sharpen it <laughs> if so it's the sharpener not the pencil I thought that was hilarious uh, honestly I have not dropped the pencils I try to make it a habit not to drop pencils because all companies do not make that type of guarantee um, but I will say that from sharpening the pencils when I was using them, I didn't experience any breakage and they were pretty stable. Um, if they are truly double glued, then that is working out pretty well for them. And let's see, that is pretty much all of the physicality of the pencils, um, straightforward. <clears throat> nice little set, truly. Let's take a look at the quality of the pencils. So, of course, I swatched them out and in the same fashion and form, I did some color mixing with them. Now, let's see if I can zoom in just a little on that so you guys can see it. Okay. So, um, I swatched out 24 colors out, including doing an opacity test as I did it. Um, and then I did some color mixing with the primaries and then the browns from the set. Now, in all honesty, this set doesn't contain a lot of earth tones. There are a lot of brights in here. Um, for the most part, they're bright and they're vibrant. There's a nice range of reds and yellows, um, a few dip, a few greens, not as many greens as I've seen in other sets, but for the most part, it's a pretty comprehensive set. And keep in mind with color pencils, you don't, I mean, I'm sorry, with watercolor pencils, you don't necessarily have to have a large number because like paints, you can mix your colors, mix your pigments to make the, um, different colors that you want. And you guys see me doing that all the time in my little watercolor pencil uh, painting demos. Okay, so the pencils are easy to grip, um, which causes for great control with pigment lay down. Mm, I typically like to use watercolor paper. Sometimes I use mixed media paper as well. So I'll swatch the pencils out on um, both or either or just to see how they'll perform. Now, this is a piece of Canson XL140 cold press. So that's what I typically swatch everything on, um, including color pencils, because it's the paper or watercolor paper is the one that I use the most. So the pigments in the pencils disperse really easily um, when touched with just a, a really slight damp brush. I didn't have any problems getting the pigment to release. You know, in some pencils you get that, like for instance, the Artist Loft, you almost have to scrub that pigment to get it to really release uh, with those color pencils. So the pencils actually layer well. Um, you can go back after you've let the first layer dry um, and add second glaze layers to it and it will not cause the pencil that is underneath to lift as long as you're not doing too much scrubbing back and forth. Um, I was able to blend the colors and to keep um, the original colors integrity. So sort of like paint separation, so to speak. Uh, it was actually really cool. So I did some color mixing here. Um, of the warm and the cool primaries, able to get some pretty vibrant colors, some that I uh, were not already included in the set. The thing is, the more I used them, the more I felt like I had them already. I, I just, I, I, um, 
I was a little perplexed. Um, so I did a couple of paintings with them um, in order to see, you know, just how they performed and the quality. Um, the first one that I did was an off-camera painting. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> where I just did this little landscape. It was a quick and easy sunset um, that I did with the pencils. I loved <clears throat> the coloration and the vibrancy, um, the saturation that I was able to get from the color of the the pigment of the pencils. And as I said earlier, they're not really a soft lead, but I didn't have issues with them. Um, I, I was I was pretty impressed by that. But then it reminded me, uh, <clears throat> I know a pencil with this similar quality. I really do. So uh, then I decided to do a demo with uh, Let's Talk Stick Fridays with the pencils. And I put up a painting demo on the channel which I'll try to remember to link it if I can, or you guys can go back and just search it with a little search op, uh, option, um, where we did this landscape of an imaginary marsh, um, marshland. Again, saturated, pretty colors, um, and they work well with painting directly from the lid, um, using a wet brush to paint directly from the lid to the paper. It, uh, they control really well when they dry. They actually control pretty well when you're using them dry on a wet surface. Um, yeah, I didn't have any necessarily bad things to say about the pencils other than the fact that I, I knew that I had already used them. That that was my only qualm. And, and you know, sometimes you get that when you're ordering products, especially... Um, <clears throat> newer brands or newer labels uh you you can't necessarily be sure um where they come from and and i do believe that the description did say that they were by royal talons but at the time i did not know that this other pencil possibly is too so <clears throat> that's pretty much what i had to say about the quality of the pencils i mean at the end of the day they are an okay pencil um, they pretty much fall in range with all of the other upper echelon student grade um, watercolor pencils, in my opinion. Um, they'll stand up to the same quality use that other uh, professional grade pencils will. They just don't give you necessarily um, the pigment payoff um, or the preservation and the color shift from wet to dry because uh, they did shift just a little but not not too heavy and i'm actually going to cut this down and just place it on the inside of my tin um because i'm no longer keeping a book for my color pencil and watercolor pencil swatches i'm just paying, putting the swatches directly inside the tin with the product so uh it'll be easily accessible uh i did tell you guys i did a brown mixture <clears throat> you can achieve some other browns from mixing the browns in in or mixing the browns with the other colors i didn't do a complete in dip um color mix study which i made down the road um but it, it wasn't necessary for this particular video just doing the basic color mixing um let me know that the pencils will mix pretty well uh, and give you some other shades and variations of colors so do i recommend the pencils that depends that depends on whether or not you already have and mine came in a little plastic mine came in a little cardboard box so i've just placed them inside this tin but i have reviewed these watercolor pencils before these are the marco ruffini 36 count of um watercolor pencils now right away you can see that they look exactly like the bronzeo pencils now that it doesn't necessarily make them the same pencil so um, you can see that the, diff the information on the pencil is different, and these particular pencils do contain a stock number or a color number, um, but you can't order them open stock. And that's one of the things um, that I take into consideration when I am actually saying that a pencil is professional grade versus student grade. And due to the fact that you can't open order these open stock, then I put these in the student grade category. Well, the same applies for these particular pencils. Um, and unlike the Ruffini pencils, they don't have 
um, a cover stock number for reordering anyway. So um, you can probably only purchase these in sets. Uh, the pigment payoff of both of these pencils are pretty much the same. The coloration of the pencils are pretty much the exact same. The color range is pretty much the same. I was able to <clears throat> find all 24, predominantly all 24 shades that was in the um, Brunzeal set in the Ruffini set. Um, there's just a few more pencils here because this is a 36 count and this is a um, 24 count. Now, I don't work for either one of these companies, but it is my firm belief after looking at these and comparing these and just looking back at some paintings that I've done with them, um, kind of playing with them, seeing how they feel with each other, um, seeing how the color pays off with each other, that these that the Marco Ruffini pencils are more than likely made by Royal Talents. Um, again, I don't work for this company. I don't know this for sure. This is just my opinion. And I'm going to actually pull out, guys, give me just to say, I just wanted to grab a piece of watercolor paper so that we can, I can just kind of show you guys. We can compare apples to apples here and see what we get. So let's zoom in a little more. And we are going to match these up. So I'm just gonna grab, oh, let's just say this first color here. Um, there's no color names on them, but this is Rumzeal. And I'm gonna see if I can match that up with the one from the Ruffini. So, First of all, looking at the pencil side by side, and I've kind of torn the uh, paint on my Ruffini pencils, but looking at them side by side there, you can see that they look exactly the same. The lid looks like exactly the same color. Even the color swatches on the end of the barrel look like exactly the same color. They're both hexagonal. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure. So let's swatch them out here. This one, first one is... the Broom Zeal, Broom Zeal pencil. And then right under that, we will put the Marco pencil. You can't tell me that's not the same. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's put those back. We'll test another one. Let's test, oh, hmm. Let's do this. Let's do a darker, uh, more saturated color. So let's try this red here. I'll try this red, see if we can match it up over here. It's not quite it. That's darker. Okay, I would say for some reason that one looks a little bit more orange to me, but I would have to say that that's about the same color. We'll see. So let's just swatch this one here. This one is the Broomzeal. And I think this is the same color. This is the Marco. Yeah. That's the same color. That's the same pencil. So I'll put these back. And then we will grab a water brush. And we will dissolve this. Let's make sure that this clean. Because I was painting with that. All right, and then we will just dissolve this pigment here. Just to see what we get. So guys, as you can see, these pen, it, they even have the same texture to them as you add water to them. It's pretty amazing. So it's for that reason that I see it. Would I recommend the pencils? Then let me show you this. Because in my honest opinion, the pencils are good. Um, <clears throat> the Brumdale pencils are, are, are really nice and uh, lovely student grade pencil, lovely beginner pencil. I don't think that any artist uh, regardless of the level, would be disappointing in using them or painting with them. 
I just don't think it's necessary to have them if you already have the Marco Ruffini pencils because in my opinion, and I'm gonna keep stressing that, the pencils are the same pencils. Um, I do believe that the Ruffini are a little cheaper too because you can get the Ruffini as a 36 set of watercolor pencils and a 36 set of color pencils for 72 pencils. Um, and it is probably cheaper than the Brumzeal. Now, at the moment, I think Jerry's is running a really big sale and it ends tonight. So that's gonna be useless information. I hate I shared that. But they're normally running a sale on um, pretty much a lot of products. So you guys can always find these at a pretty decent, decent price from Jerry's Autorama. So guys, there you have it. Um, that's my review and my opinion on the Brumsdale Highland Ricks Museum 24 count of watercolor pencils. Um, not as in-depth as um, my normal review is, but I feel like I've already reviewed the pencils before when I re reviewed the Marco Ruffini pencils. Um, so to me, this is just a brush up review <laughs> on a brand of pencil uh, that I already had. So yeah, there you have it. Hopefully this information helped you out in some shape, form, or fashion. If it did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Remember that hitting that like button does get us in front of other viewers and is going to help the channel grow along with sharing the video because sharing is caring and it's going to help us grow. <laughs> uh, don't forget to use the comment section. Let me know what you think about the fact these pencils are the same. Do they seem the same to you? Do you have either set or both sets? Have you compared them? What do you think? I would love to know. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up with what's coming up on the channel in the future. I'm trying to think of new content and new things that you don't necessarily see on YouTube already. So guys, go ahead and hit that bell and make sure that you keep up with what's going on. Check us out on Thriftfield Prentice Facebook page as well as the Instagram page. You can like and follow us there and I will continue to encourage you guys go ahead and share your work on the Facebook page. I would love to see it and I'm sure it would inspire some other people. Um, and remember, as I tell you at the end of every single video, guys, just keep painting.